In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the procedures involved to calculate the total amount of substance in an area. The area could be a laboratory, it could be a storage room, it could be a welding shop, it could be a lot of different uh, types of work areas. Now, you may see this type of problem on the certification exam, but even if you don't, a lot of the uh, procedures that we're going to go through, if you're, if you're able to negotiate the conversions between units and some of the other some of the other tasks that will be represented in this problem, that will help you for the certification exam. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at this problem and we'll work through it. Uh, we have a room that is 15 feet by 20 feet and it's got an 8 foot high ceiling. It contains substance X at a concentration of 2,428.32 milligrams per cubic meter. How many total grams of substance X are in the room? Well, the first thing we need, we need to do is calculate the volume of the room. And notice there's, there's, a, uh, there's a kind of a wrinkle right out of the gate that we'll have to deal with. Our room is room dimensions are in feet, but our substance is measured in cubic meters. So we're going to have a conversion to do just to give you a heads up on that. But first of all, let's calculate the volume of the room in feet, the volume of a rectangle, width times length times height. Now, if it were an odd shaped room, um, it, it would be a little more complicated but most of the time you're going to see rectangular shaped rooms in problems like this. So we need to use this formula. We just plug in the information. 15 feet for the width. 20 feet for the length. And it's got an 8 foot ceiling. Multiply those three together. We end up with a volume in cubic feet of 2400. Let's go ahead bring my other calculator up here. Let's verify that make sure my slide is correct. We've got 15 times 20 times 8. Yep, 2400 cubic feet or feet cubed is the volume of the room that we're working in. But again, we need cubic meters. We're, the cubic meters is where we need to go with this. So let's convert cubic feet to cubic meters. Okay, there are 3.28 feet in one meter. A cubic meter equals 3.28 cubed, or 3.28 times 3.28 times 3.28. And we end up with 35.29 cubic meters. Feet. They're 35.29 cubic feet in one cubic meter. So now we can take, we can take our uh, volume that we have in cubic feet, the 2400 that we had up here, and divide that by 35.29. And that's going to give, give us the room volume in cubic meters. 2400 divided by 35.29, we end up right at 68 cubic meters. But let's go ahead and verify that. Bring my calculator back over. Let's go ahead and verify the 3.28 cubed first. If I was using my TI-30, I would do this differently. Okay, 3.28 times 3.28 times 3.28. That's we've cubed it. We end up with 35.287. We'll round that to 35.29. So we're good there. We did that calculation correctly. Now we want to take the 2400 cubic foot volume of the room and divide by 35.29. And we end up with 68 and 7 one thousandths cubic meter. And I'm going to drop the 7 one thousandths. We'll just go with 68 cubic meters for that. 
All right. Now what we need to do is take that 68 cubic meters and and multiply that 68 cubic meters by the con concentration that we have per cubic meter. There's 2,428.32 milligrams per cubic meter. So to get our total substance, we have a room volume times that concentration, 68 times 2,428.32. We end up with 165,125.76 milligrams in the room. But another wrinkle, and again, you'll see this on a lot of different quantitative certification problems. And again, it's not, or let me emphasize, it's not just safety certification exams where you see this. If you go to take the MCAT, which is the medical school admissions test, they, they love conversions. They, it's, it, test makers like to see test takers do a lot of conversions, especially if it's science related. So, but we've got milligrams and we need to convert it to grams. How many total grams? You probably already got it in your head what it is. You probably already know, but let's go ahead and do the math. We need to convert milligrams to gram. There are a thousand milligrams in a gram. So we take our milligrams and divide by 1,000. 165,000 divided by 1,000. We end up with 165.13 grams of the substance X in the room. All right. There may be a test or a question like this on our test. There is a practice problem like this. Uh, but more importantly, being familiar with these types of problems, being able to do unit conversions will be of great benefit to you when you're ready to take certification exams. Um, I haven't done it yet, but I need to do a tutorial on the extended conversion process. Now, we really haven't needed it with any of the conversions that we've done so far. The conversions are pretty simple, but it, it will be to your benefit to better understand, if you don't already, the extended conversion process. All right, with that, I will say adios, and I will see you in the next video.